Hi guys, welcome to the seventh video of this series where I will talk about how you can delete the rows and column from a data frame. So let's go ahead and start it by importing the pandas libraries like we have done in all the videos. So go ahead and execute by pressing shift enter. Once we have imported, I am reading the Excel file that I have uh, read in the previous videos as well so nothing new and I am reading the first sheet which is orders so if I go ahead and execute this it will read the file it will take a couple of seconds so it's executed and now uh, I am I need to see some first few observation I can use the head uh, method to view the first five observation so I'm pressing control enter and it will show me the first five observation to verify whether I have properly update, uh, loaded the data into the Python or not. All right, after that, uh, I have uh, orders which I have created just now by accessing the Excel file. And uh, let's say I want to remove this first column, which is row ID. So if I show you that. Here is the row ID that I have and let's say I need to remove this column. So what I simply use is the drop function. If I need to say orders, say from orders I need to drop. So orders dot drop and uh, specify which column you want to drop. <clears throat> and after that the axis. So axis is equals to one is indicating that you want to drop the column. If it is zero that means it's the row so whenever you need to drop the column always have the axis equals to one and in place is equals to true is indicating to make the impact in the orders column if this is false or you are not specifying this the column will be uh, this command will be executed but the change will not be impacted into the original data frame which is orders so that's why you need to have the in places equals to true <clears throat> and then I'm saying orders dot had to to see the impact in the first two observation so I'm executing this and now you can see order ID is the first column and the row ID have been removed all right let's move ahead now in this example we have seen only the row ID the one column let's say I need to remove the two different columns what I can use is the bracket to indicate the two column order date order priority order date and order priority x is equals to one similar to the previous one and in place is equals to true to make the impact happen into the orders data frame so execute that and see this in action all right now we have order id and after that those two columns have been removed the order date and order priority and after that we have order quantity now let's see how we can remove the rows as well very quickly by specifying the axis is equals to zero so now we what we want is we want to drop the uh, second and uh, third row and we are specifying the axis equals to zero and in place equals true and saying viewing this in action by using the head function head basically shows the first five observation so let's go ahead and execute this and see this thing in action so as you can see after zero and one the second and third index values have been removed so that's the important point that uh, these values indicate uh, the index values so whenever you are specifying that index value will be removed so that second and third is removed so after zero and one you are seeing the fourth so this is this these are the different ways by which you can remove the column or remove the rows and uh, get the desired output from your data frame and that's pretty much all i have for you in this video